The challenges are when we arrive into a city, there's such parking jams. You get such a headache from looking for, for a place to park. And, and it's, it's really frustrating. So what City Transform is all about is about making you maneuver more easily in the city. It's a small electric vehicle built for today's cities that can intelligently transform its dimension and its riding experience in order to meet the challenges of mobility in today's cities. The technology is based, it's called active width adjustment. So during when you maneuver in the city, you can be in a 1.4 meter widen mode. The, shashi, the, the platform is 1.4 meter. And you can maneuver more easily, you're more stable, you're confident, you get the whole feeling of like you're driving in, in a regular vehicle. But upon when you need to outsmart traffic or look for a parking space, then you decrease the whole platform to one meter, which is actually the width of a motorcycle. It's any of the final consumer that wants to maneuver more easily. But our market is actually the, the, the different fleets. At the end of the day, we want to reduce the number of people that take their own private vehicle. Everything is going towards shared economy. And also mobility it has to be, I mean, so, Naturally, the big client is the cities. They need such, a, they need such a mobility options. But, but when you look at who is in the city, it's those who work in the city, who commute to the cities, who live in the cities. It's just different corporates that want to change their fleets, new neighborhoods that can put this as amenity for the residents. So all of this is the customers. But we look at the end customer and want to provide him the best experience so we, he will be able to convert from using his own vehicle to a shared small vehicle. So currently now, we, we have two amazing road regulated prototypes that have been driving the streets of Germany and now in Paris. And now we're going to our mass production. So we're currently just uh, starting the feasibility study and, and then working towards finalizing the, 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 the vehicle for the mass production, which will be rolled out in 2024. I think most of the, especially in the urban areas, most of the mobility will be very connected. People will not use their own vehicle. And it's, it's gonna be very multimodal. There's not one single solution. It's gonna be very multimodal, but it's going to be based, based on public transportation together with shared mobility.